Tottenham and Aston Villa or is it going to be too fresh in your bones like right now? <laughs> yeah. so, no, doctor, I think uh, both again two more arrows were shot at like United fans before this game even started. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, <laughs> Uh, both, I think uh, Aston Villa not so much because they surrendered the two goal lead, but Spurs will definitely losing. Okay, like that Spurs, freaking bro, fuck, so crazy. good. It was nuts. I was like, fuck, bang on target, and then um, randomness, bro. I stepped away from TV for five minutes to score two yeah. goals. Like it was yeah. just bro. So I awesome. turned on the TV for five minutes and just scored two goals. Like I, I'm telling you, there's something happening. <laughs> and then I switched over to the Liverpool game, and then Liverpool scored within 30 seconds. I'm like, yeah, why am I even definitely doing this? have had uh, a really good like luck going in, in their way. They attack so much, so they end up creating chances. For some reason, teams playing Spurs, they just like they don't they're not clinical enough against them at all because they get so many chances. So they like their eyes are open. They're like, oh my god, it's like gold. We're gonna go catch it, and then uh, almost always they screw up. Um, but Son, man, like Son, clinical, Madison, clinical. Everyone like is just clinical in that team, and they 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 click together. And I think they will have a really good next season. I think next season is their season. Mm. So uh, yeah, they are pulling away in this top four, top five race. Um, haven't skipped a beat yet. Yeah. Uh, initially, we thought in the middle that United will be able to catch them, but that's gone there. This yeah, six points off. Spurs have the worst last five fixtures any team can ever have. <laughs> yeah. Right? And I think this they will... All the, they, they will decide the title race. Simple. Yeah. They play they, all the teams. They, they play... I know they play Arsenal and City. They also play Liverpool. Yeah. They play Liverpool, Arsenal and City. And three games in four, four games. Yeah. Oh, I think wow. All the, all they play Aston Villa next. I yeah. Think. Aston Villa is next. I think, yeah. All the three title teams they're going to play in the last three. Bro, I need City to get knocked out of uh, Champions League so that we can win it. Like, even though we win it, we only get four spots and the sp- four Spurs don't get the fifth one for the Champions League. That's me being optimistic back again. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, to Mirav's point, I feel like whenever anyone plays Spurs, they feel like they can score, they can attack and then they just open up. And I think that is playing to like fucking Spurs advantage because team play like blindless, mindless football like towards the end. Remember that Brighton game when yeah. They just opened their legs. Yeah, and they were, yesterday was kind of exactly like that. Yeah. yeah, Crystal Palace was exactly the same. Anderson literally was like, oh, you're not getting open chances, let me give you one. And then the <laughs> other guy who could have simply tackled, he was like, no, 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 no. I'll also let you pass. Let's see what you can do. And then fucker Werner scored out of all people. <laughs> Come on, man. Um, and I yeah. think oh, Werner scored before Anthony. Can you believe it? <laughs> Dude, okay. Anthony is... <laughs> Anthony is basically the worst signing in history of Premier League and I have... Yeah, I love how Vamsi had the balls to be yeah. like, bro, you should bring Anthony on. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know how can people even debate the fact that he's absolutely the shittiest signing ever. Garbage. We signed Pepe, bro. Never forget. Bro, Pepe was so much better. Like, I am telling you with stats, with everything else in between, mm-hmm. Pepe was so much better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Cool, going towards Aston Villa, uh, they they keep winning and they yep. probably have, this is probably going to be the underdog story of uh, like this season that if they actually end up making Champions League football, that would be crazy and they're, they're right there. I think they're in a really good position to make it also, like uh, they have been winning the games that they should be winning and uh, I think their fixture list also looks okay, they might act, I think they are a more certain of a top 4 finish over uh, Spurs at this point. I feel like they have a better chance than Spurs. It's a genuine question though. You think roster-wise, Aston Villa has a better roster than Spurs and United? No. No? You don't no. think so? Players Spurs players? are better. I mean, United maybe. United maybe. I genuinely don't rate half of United players. But uh, Spurs, I think Spurs has definitely a mm. better spot for me. You think so? Player for player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I mean, think about it. Like Villa has a better striker. Like Ole Watkins over okay. any first striker. I mean, I so mean you would would not Son, probably not. Son, not. Yeah, I would take Son over Ole Watkins. Son is yeah. over Watkins. I would take the yeah, I would do that. I would take Kamara and Luis over any of these fuckers, Skip or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Luis probably. Yeah. I would. I would, I would, I would. Listen, and then defense. I would take. I would 
hundred percent take Van der Ven. Vicario, Emi Martinez, kind of like a toss up. Tough, tough. Pedro, Pedro Porro, Cristiano Porto Romero. Is... These guys are also like. Yeah, yeah Pedro Porro is good. I like Consa too, honestly. But mm-hmm. I would say, yeah, depends on how the type of. Actually, Van der Ven would work in Unai Emery style football. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, they probably Spurs have the defense. Aston Villa definitely have the midfield. Uh, and I would even take you know Leon Bailey or uh, uh, hmm. who's that other McGill, uh, no the winger Diaby. Diaby yeah. and Leon Bailey over Brendan Johnson or Timo Werner or any of the Spurs wingers. Douglas Lewis is pretty good. Oxford Spurs. Douglas Lewis is pretty good. Yeah, Douglas Lewis and Kamara definitely midfield. Hmm. Uh, I don't think uh, anyone in uh, no. uh, in they should touch. And Yuri Tillemans, Madison, I, I'll, I'll like wait. Yeah. Madison is, I'll, I'll after the injury, Madison has come back to be pretty shit. To be honest, he yeah, hasn't. Probably, but then it takes time to get back to your your level. Yeah. I think uh, on paper, at least, I would take Madison, not on current form. Uh, on wing, I would take Kulusevski. I mean, over any of the. What, what, do, you, what do you think will happen next game? They're facing each other. Oh, That's it? one yeah. of the best games of the season. Villa and Spurs. At Villa Park. Villa Park. Oh, okay. Imagine, bro, both Highlands are so fucking. <laughs> <laughs> they're playing in this part of the pitch. They're like high fiving each other. <laughs> they're doing Tardia <laughs> next season. We should actually do a. We should actually do a, a com- combined eleven, like really. Combined eleven. Yeah, we can. We all we did it so quickly, right? <laughs> so quickly. Uh, like, like in a structured way, so that we can just push it out. Imagine Emmy Martinez flipping balls and then coming to Vicario, and he's like they're playing like this badminton, kind of badminton with each other. Yeah, fucking it, man as well. Uh, is it? Uh, Aston Villa two one or three one actually. Aston Villa three one. Okay, hate. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's their it's at their home. I think they're good. I think it's going to be two two draw. Two two draw. What about you? <clears throat> I think it's going to be a crazy game with the high line. Like both people are playing, it'll be two two or three three. <laughs> yeah, just Water some something line. crazy is going to happen, and like there'll be like three goals scored initially by Tottenham, and then Villa will suddenly score three goals. Like some something weird is going to happen. So I'm just going to say three three for now. Yeah, I'm going to go for a four three Villa win with the uh, crazy yeah. second mark list. Yeah, hope proper Barclays is gonna be. Let's hope is a proper Barclays classic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 